Well, all this week, we've been focusing on the future of technology and its impact on the Bay Area. We started with Dreamforce in San Francisco and a focus on artificial intelligence. One of the most intriguing ways that technology is being used now is increasing safety on public transit. Sean Chitness is live in San Francisco this morning with a look at one company's plan to make your commute safer. And, you know, Sean, I like this part. It's going to make the job of bus drivers a little bit easier. Well, Gianna, they already have plenty to worry about, and so that is certainly the idea behind this technology. We know that transit is seeing a drop in ridership uh, since we started the pandemic. We also know that buses are specifically facing obstacles and delays, and so that's why the technology from Hayden AI that's based here in San Francisco, if you take a look at the van over here, you can see the model that they have that shows how they're able to replicate those conditions and make public transit better across the country. Chris Carson still remembers the moment that helped to inspire the mission of Hayden AI. I was inside Inner Sunset in San Francisco riding a transit bus. And in the past, I was very focused on understanding driver behavior. While on Muni that day, he realized the driver had to keep pushing a button to capture photos showing cars that weren't parked legally. I thought to myself that we could start to automate that. And Hayden AI has done just that allowing the bus driver to focus on their job and help transit agencies get better at enforcement, as well as collect more data related to safety. If you are trying to uh, monitor parking from across the city, you can imagine you would probably need an army of human beings to monitor that. But with artificial intelligence, the technology knows, based on GPS, that certain sections of the road are designated bus lanes and cars shouldn't be parked there. There's no technology that's inherently bad or good. It's how you apply the technology. We got a chance to see how it works with one of Hayden AI's vans that replicates the conditions of a bus. As we drove around SF, the technology is constantly checking to see if a car is in the right spot. In our case, we are using AI for public good, improving transit bus services for millions of riders already. According to Hayden AI, the software is helping buses move around cities faster, ridership is up, and on-time departures are increasing. Part of our mission is also to help give tools to transit agencies that they've never had in the past um, so they can find ways to improve the ridership experience, and joining us now is Charlie Torito with Hayden AI to learn more about this technology. So, Charlie, of course, we want to hear a little bit about privacy. That's a big concern when it comes to AI. How are you guys tackling that as a company? Th thanks, Sean. Really appreciate it. You know, this system is built with a, a privacy first, privacy de by design approach. Um, what it does is ensures that only evidence that's needed to support uh, a prosecutable violation ever leaves uh, the bus or the vehicle in the first place. Um, most of the processing is done on board, ensuring that what leaves the vehicle um, is only needed to support a violation. Right, so if you look at this screen here, we are on camera right now because we're in the range of the two cameras that are part of the equipment, but we're not being recorded because we're not in violation. Absolutely, right. And so talk to us a little bit about the benefits. We know the goal is to increase ridership, of course, make it safer, help out the bus driver, but there's also an environmental impact. Uh, no question about that. You know, there are really four things that these systems provide. Um, more reliable transportation, more efficient transportation, um, a, a reduction in CO2 um, from uh, the transit network, and ultimately um, more on-time ridership. Right. And so just for folks who will be on the bus, they may wonder, how does this impact me? Yeah, you know, it's seamless to the rider. Um, I think the only thing that the rider will experience is a, is a faster ride, more on-time arrivals. And to the driver, it's seamless as well. Uh, there's no button for the driver to push. Uh, there's no interaction with the system that the driver has to be involved with at all. Um, it is a system that works uh, seamlessly to, to everyone involved. Well, we appreciate you being here this morning. Thanks so much. And we want to just point out that it's already in D.C. and New York, and they also have pilot programs happening in Southern California. Guys, back to you.